Hey, hey, how's it going, guys? So much everyone here, and today we're back with The Walking Dead. And boy, oh boy, this episode has been a okay. Uh, we left off with a live stream, actually, uh, a little cliffhanger. And uh, if you haven't kept up with my Instagram, well, since yesterday, we have the entire series now. So if you want to see me make decisions and all that, play throughout all of these uh, episodes. And we have a special episode down there called 400 Days. No idea what that means, and hopefully that's not a spoiler for one of the other seasons. But hey, I'm going to hop back in to, um, to episode one and finish this episode off. Right, let's get it popping. So, uh, how you been? And yes, this one isn't a live stream this time, as you can tell. Anyway, I wonder, I wonder what point we're at. Oh, this one. You seem to underestimate that this nickel knows when to tickle when in a pickle. Yeah. Oh, oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. Fight me. I'm just saying this has been the most intense scene in the entire episode. Yeah, we'll wanna kill him first. We don't we don't wanna make no little mistakes. Yeah. Sit down. Dude, where'd your weapon go? Into that ice pig-sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit. Where'd your weapon go? Now Maybe look at a zombie there that's dead Did with the die? big weapon in its head. Anyway, grab, grab this axe. Two more. That should help. I'm gonna be a firefighter. Let's get up there then, and let's go save whoever she is. As always, it will do. I can just see it. I can just see it turning to hell. Yeah. Hmm. I wonder. Now, if you're asking what I'm, what I was just wondering, I wonder if we could just throw, throw that thing onto them. Let me ask you a question. <laughs> that was Connie. <laughs> Do you want to be asked a question? There you go. Rare. <laughs> Rare, bruh. Says the one who didn't know where my weapon was after I put it into a zombie. But hey! <laughs> jokes are jokes. <laughs> God, you're easily persuaded. <laughs> we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. She's in trouble. Miss, we're coming in. Why not? Here's Johnny. Ah, <laughs> oh, I thought you were gonna break down the, like, actually break down the door. You know, like, put a hole for it and go. Stop. Here's Johnny. But, you know, you do that too. You look well. Oh God! I, I said stay away. We need to get you help. It's ah, uh, she bitten. Guys, she's been bitten. What? I no, I can see her arm. I'm bit. But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick. Well, you it's all right. And you come back and you kill anything you can find. You have a boyfriend. Glenn. <laughs> I don't want that. It's not Christian. Please, just leave me. Ah, oh, you're a Christian family. Uh. What if you turn and come after us? Follow us back to our group. I know mm. that was why I was locked away. I can't let this happen to me. Oh, we're gonna shoot her. So can I borrow it? What do you mean borrow? By shooting us all down, obviously. Fine, give it to her. Give it to her. What? You can't be serious. Do it. No. Do it. Fine. You're all fucking crazy. I've seen what hell is 
plank and it's coming back as one of those things. Okay, you don't have to describe it. We're giving you the goddamn gun. <laughs> Thank you so much. I know how terrible this must be. I can't watch this. Let's go. We can't go yet. What? Why not? Because somebody needs to pick up the gun. You can't leave. You two go on. I will gladly pick up that gun. I'm here with you. You're a good man. Ooh. Oh, that would give me goosebumps. <laughs> but I'm going to be expecting that these entire series. Ooh. That one hurt. Really did actually. I was just trying to play funny, but you know. Free HIV! <laughs> what a twist! <laughs> oh, okay! Right? I forgot about the free HIV. Yeah, we had some close calls, but Lynn is fine. Look here. You're okay. I've got a few cans of gas for you to pick up in the trunk of my car. Oh, good to hear it. And things back here? Why? Still in and out over there. We won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. When do you get that thing like happening to his stomach if you get for that stress? Hmm. Alright, so. I'm thinking we go outside with Doug now. Because he's the only person we haven't like really How we doing? cooperated with. Good. Go have a look around outside. Yes. This time we're actually gonna do it because I have stepped outside this door thousands of times, having no idea what I was doing. But hey, we're here now. I'm not smart. So the gate. There we go. We can use the axe on the remote. Why not? Hey man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. So that's why we're gonna use that. His brother has it though, doesn't he? That guy over there has the keys. There you go. We did that before. I swear we have. If not, I'm confused. Do you think the game has lost memory? Mm -hmm. I don't know. We'd need all the seconds we can get. So then there's the brick. There we go. Don't make too much noise. And that was a load of noise. The brick. And just smash that window. Yep, cool. Okay. Let's open this up. Too much noise! <laughs> Ah, I am making noise myself, shut up! <laughs> okay, so take the brick. Yes. And we lob the brick over there. And this is working perfectly. Yeah! There you go, see? Look at all the noise! Huh? What is all the noise? Hey there, me friend, let's go check it out! Cause we're all dumb we're all dumb there. <laughs> that was the time alright, come on. That's very intense. Let's go approach Lee's brother then. Be careful. Keep an eye out, will you? Please. I'll be your best friend. Having a good fun watching Well the Dead program. I would say TV but then. Alright, calm down! There are a few zombies nearby, just saying. <laughs> Keep that in mind. So I can kill him. Did he your pause for a second? I'm sorry I wasn't there. Mm 
until it all ended. Are they dead? Come on, do you have to do that? How many times? I damaged the brain. Why? That's two now, and we've only really just started the episode. Well, we're halfway through, I think. <laughs> there we go. I think things are only going to mess up at this point. Coming to the end. Run. Oh, what's happening? Oh, the workers! I said to, I said to remember, and yeah, I forgot. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Quick run back. For oh, any more trouble causes. Okay. So they're gonna come for us now. Uh oh, we have a problem. Man, I think we've made a problem. But who did it? It's all that matters. Is that really what they were saying? Oh, uh, okay. Oh! Uh, Great. God, you're amazing. Wow, you're amazing. Mm. <laughs> oh, please help. <laughs> Righty then. Wait, so where's uh, the little girl? Clementine, not really name. I only remember it because of the fruit, alright? <laughs> um, I kind of like this ship. Anyway, um, I wonder where the little girl is because she usually follows me. Hopefully not to death. She didn't go outside and say we kill all them zombies at least, did I? Open up! Well, we could have used the axe. Yes. Here we go. Oh! Oh! Oh, we are in trouble. Yo! Oh! Oh, we did! Oh, we are all dead. <laughs> Just saying. Yo, nah. Guys, we need to get out. Oh, we are in trouble. Um, maybe heading back to the motel. There's no walkers there. Oh, we're in trouble. A lot more than trouble. Oh my god! Guys, guys never go and sit in a zombie apocalypse. Jesus. Is he awake yet? Larry. At least we're making a plan. Fair enough. Uh oh. Who's just telling that to the comment on? Yes, help. Will do. Oh, shut up. Shut up, dog! <laughs> yes, it gave him the option. Oh, shut up! We're gonna make it through it. I think. Oh my god! Does any of us have. Thank god she has a weapon. But she's the reporter. Oh, come on, please. What's that little girl say over there? Come on. I hope none of us get bit, I'm just saying that. Oh god! You're fighting me! Oh. Yeah, boy! Yes! Thank you! Go! Woohoo! Well, that's one down. Oh! 
Oh no! You're not gonna make me choose, are you? Oh my god! What? Nah, how am I gonna choose? Wait, do I have to choose to say dog or that reporter? Oh my god. I thought we were in a minute. Okay, I've given it some thought. I think I'm gonna go for dog. Because I think eventually, you know how uh, like Carly knows about, um, well, my character, also known as Lee Everett's past. Uh, with the murder of killing someone. And I think Clem does now, but I think if the other group knew about it, they'd all go insane and try to kill us. And possibly Clementine, because um, she's the one we found, and everything, and everyone thinks we should kidnap her. <laughs> Ding! <laughs> anyway. <laughs> well, um... Come on, let's go save Dog. Yes. I forgot she has the weapon though. No, I didn't think about that. Oh, grab the weapon, please. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Uh, the weapon? Oh, no, not another. Get lost. Nah. Sh no, keep your foot on it. Jesus. Yes, thank you. Right, now move. Quick, 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 we gotta move, we gotta move. No! What? No! No, I'm not dying. It's one thing for another character to die, but me. Oh, Jesus. Yes, Kenny. Oh, Ma oh Mario Mustache. Bye, Violets. Sheesh. That has to be one of the toughest decisions I've ever made in a video game, ever. That's the title. <laughs> yes, back at the motel, thank god. Man, this episode has been all types of insane. Oh, there she is, the guy... Well, the girl that shot herself or we let her shoot herself. Man! I still hate Duck, no matter what situation. That little, that uh, Kenny's little kid, no matter how much he says, me, I hate his kid. <laughs> his voice just annoys me. You watch the picture, man. Oh, I ain't making another decision, get lost. <laughs> How nearby was that? Because we surely can't be safe. We need to let the ovens know about that. Hey, Glenn. Why is everything on stage 9 catastrophe? Yeah. I got friends there. I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happened there. When we left a few days ago, it could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. Fair enough. What's she want? <laughs> Man, you're awesome! <laughs> You gotta do what you gotta do. See, listen to that. Everything's on stage nine catastrophe. Yeah, she's in the pile of walkers now. I don't need the boy, did it? <laughs> I'm just wondering, it said many cities on stage 9 catastrophe. 
Which city are we in, though? That's the question. I wonder if you ever know throughout the game. That'd be nice to know, though. <laughs> nice to know it's digital. Catastrophe. <laughs> Catastrophe. You're on. Possibly nine. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe. It could, it could be nine. No, it could be nine. <laughs> anyway, keep moving. Thank you. Close call. Mario Mustache. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah. In a fashion. Hmm. So I'm guessing we're coming to the end of the episode. Because everything should have gone insane. What's he doing? So this was the guy we saved. We couldn't save her, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I <laughs> went slow motion for me. I know it's stupid. We just met. It's dumb. But I mean, it's, it's probably just that survivor. I really liked her. She liked you too. How did you choose? I mean, we both needed you. You picked me. I was going to help you both. It's probably for the best. Makes sense, I guess. But you helped me first. Yeah, I did. I just wish you would have picked her. And then she would have wished I picked you. I should probably say, Hey, you're after me! Uh! <laughs> Larry. Oh, I got a super dinosaur was toast. Oh god, you know I hear his voice. He was Oh, and then hey, Doc, uh, you wanna cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. Yeah, chill up for a second. I'm sorry, there's uh, not a lot of kids. Like an hour? No. Like a year. Not that. It's not I forever. got grabbed again. I was there. Again? I'm the first. I fell, and my walkie talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. Oh, Well, so how are we going to find out about your parents? I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Wait, so how are we going to connect back to them? Come here for a second. Ruth, let me go deal with this. Oh, here man. we go. Thing. God, leave her alone! <laughs> Alright, just had to crop that out so much it popped up. Right, be a sec. Yeah. Why won't let me decide? Well, the answer better be no. Or, uh, everyone will know that you, Lee Everett, are a killer. Oh, you know too. Before, before it was something you had to do to stay alive. What you gotta do is what you gotta do. I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, then you watch your ass. He's hey, dead. Lee, do you have a second? What about Lara? Yeah, sure. My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That reporter is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. Fair enough. We're lucky to have you. Yeah, you're lucky to have a killer. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. What sound? <laughs> How can you hear this? This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. Yeah, but there is walkers nearby. I actually hmm. agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, because it's the only plan we have. And most importantly, we got light. There are worse places to call home. And that does make yeah, noise. Right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. Ooh! What happened to all the light? Yo, okay. Oh, here we go. We have a preview of next episode. Cool. I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. You never thought about food, me. did they? When was the last time you ate? 
Hey, I owe you a lot more than a half-eaten candy bar. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Is this the Hi, problem, then? I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. On to the next family, eh? The walkers at Herschel's farm. You choose the kids this time. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. You fuck with us! Now we're gonna take what we want! What? What have you guys really done? Jesus! Man, we should walked out of a drugstore into a motel and you've ended up like this. We've got a hell of an episode to play next, haven't we? Well then! Oh, of course it's a Telltale game. Alright, uh, let's find this out. Light to Herschel. You and 54% of players were honest. Duck or Sean. You won 47% so chud to Sean. And yet he's dead. <coughs> so it doesn't matter what I pick, <laughs> I guess. Uh, you and 55% of players decided to defend Kenny. Mm hmm. Why not? Uh, gave Irony the gun. Yes. That was respectful. And that 53% that didn't. Well, I hope you get eaten by Irony. And I'm guessing that's the girl we saw. Mm hmm. Doug or Carly. I was actually expecting a bit more percentage than just m me and 51 of players who chose Dog. I was actually expecting a bit more than that because I was a little suspicious with Carly just because she was a reporter. And by the way, she had the gun. <laughs> just saying, she could have just popped my head whenever she wanted. But yeah, I was a bit, I was a bit suspicious with her. So, as you've seen, we have a new, we have an entire series of The Walking Dead to play through. And uh, next, we're going to be back with uh, episode two. Stabbed for help and I don't know exactly if it's gonna be the next video, but hey, I hope you enjoyed this video Leave a like subscribe and this music kind of fits it in Bye bye